My name is Jenny Riggins. I live in Portland and I'm a professor at the University of Maine School of Law. I teach courses in torts and insurance as well as family law and issues in constitutional law. I'm here today in support of LD 1020 and I'm speaking on my own behalf and not on behalf of any institution. At the request of the League of Women Voters, Attorney Michael Levy and I prepared a memo to highlight some of the important differences between being married and unmarried. Marriage, of course, is a centrally important way of organizing families and their legal rights and responsibilities to each other. Even accounting for Maine's domestic partnership registry and other domestic partner laws, there is a huge difference in Maine law between married people and everyone else regarding available legal rights and protections. The memo is attached to my testimony. Marriage in Maine has a long history of being considered a status, not a contract. That is significant because there is no way to form a legally recognized marriage if a couple lives together for a certain period of time and no way to form a marriage by a contract. It also clarifies that marriage is far more than a bundle of legal rights and protections. Focusing for a moment on the rights and protections, many parts of our law demonstrate that one function of marriage is for the spouses to provide mutual financial support for one another. This shows itself in everything ranging from probate laws protecting a surviving spouse who's left out of a will to a right to damages from a wrongdoer who causes a spouse's death. Same-sex couples lack these protections. Another function of marriage law is to arrange the orderly disposition of property when couples divorce. Judges look beyond simply who owns property when determining the fair distribution of property and must consider, consider factors like the contributions of a spouse as a homemaker and also may award spousal support payments. Main same-sex couples lack these protections. The relationship between marriage and parenting is also important. Maine law establishes that a couple born, uh, when a, a child born when a couple is married is a child of the couple. While this presumption is rebuttable, it remains as a baseline linking marriage and children. Same-sex couples who bring a child into their family do not benefit from the presumption of marriage, which, from par marriage and parentage, which may open up questions about the familiar nature of the relationship. There are 1,138 federal laws in which marital status is a factor. Federal law and agencies traditionally look to the states as gatekeepers to determine a person's marital status for purposes of access to those federal laws. For example, spousal support and survivor's benefits under Social Security are substantial protections that hinge in the first instance on whether a state classifies someone as married or not. Federal law currently singles out marriages of same-sex couples for disrespect, but the president seeks to repeal the law and a court challenge to that law is pending in Massachusetts. We cannot ignore the significance of the label marriage. Finally, even if marriage had no legal consequences in terms of rights and protections, we have to remember that marriage is a fundamental protected right under the federal constitution. Same-sex couples who otherwise would meet the criteria are excluded with no good reason. Please pass LD 1020 and end the practice of treating gay people differently from everyone else. Thank you. Thank you.